Shiba Inu coin has been performing phenomenally over the last, I would say, week. And we've seen prices go from 2,000 points per coin all the way up to 3,500 points per coin. And yes, it's pulled back slightly, back down to 3,000. Now we're at 3,300. So we've got some very good volatility and very healthy trading action going on. And it's on top of news. That can make it even better because if people flock to Shiba Inu coin because of the news that is out there, it is fundamental fundamentally based gains and not just a retail run up, not just some sort of a, a speculative move, but the news is driving it higher. And we need to talk about this news because we have got some huge things going on right now. I'm sure you guys have seen about the Shiba Inu coin metaverse, codenamed Shibers right now. So we'll talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about wellies and the, the, I guess the fact that they're out there and going to be franchising multiple locations across the globe. But I really want to talk about the focus on the Shiba Inu ecosystem as opposed to just Shiba Inu coin. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy crypto and stocks, you can use the link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. $100 deposit is going to get you at least three free stocks right now. And then any $1 crypto trade is going to get you your choice of $5 in free crypto. And yes, you can choose Shiba Inu coin. And then if you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange, you've got Crypto.com, Binance, and Gemini down there as well. But guys, we got a lot to talk about in this video. Let's start off with wellies, okay? This is kind of last week's news, if you will. Uh, Shiba Inu coin is constantly releasing news after news after news, innovation after innovation after innovation. And, and the fact that we're already moving on from something that, should have broken the internet, but possibly didn't. Uh, I don't want anybody to forget that, you know, we may have something else coming. The developers did not say that the metaverse is what was going to break the internet. They're trying to say that it wasn't wellies that was going to break the internet. So hopefully we've got some more good news coming out. But to talk about Wellies, it's a single, I guess, a single location restaurant, and they want to franchise. If you guys are interested in getting a franchise, you can check out their website. They've got a nice little easy button down there on the bottom right that allows you to fill out the paperwork or form. It's not paper if it's on your phone or computer. But you can fill out the, the form there and, I guess, apply to be a, a franchise owner. Now, pros and cons of this, Okay. Shiba Inu coin is built on decentralization. It is a decentralized token not to be governed by any one person. Now, we are seeing a, a centralization coming to be for Shiba Inu coin, and it's, it's entering dangerous territory, right? We've got developers that are clearly the only decision makers when it comes to Shiba Inu coin. Now, I know they've got Doggy Dow out there to... to let you push them in the right direction. But these developers for Shiba Inu coin are taking Shiba Inu coin where they want to take it. They're taking it in great directions. You know, there's a lot of progress in Shiba Inu coin. But with wellies coming into play, if wellies and Shiba Inu coin and the Shiba Inu ecosystem are, are one and the same, if you start the franchise and, and the money raised in... I guess selling Shiba Inu coin or NFTs and so on goes to a centralized entity like Wellies. That is, it becomes dangerous when you're looking at, I guess, securities versus tokens. So that's something that they should work out there before they go ahead and figure out how they're going to be raising the funding and so on for Wellies. If they pull it off, Guys, you were talking about a brand new chain that's garnering the attention of all of the Shiba Inu army out there and could potentially take off and we got in on the ground floor. So it has massive potential to do great things if, I guess, they cross all their, their T's and dot all their I's and everything works out right. Could be very big news. Now, the metaverse, if you guys, and, and remember the ecosystem part, of the franchise. Now the meta the metaverse or the shibburst it's codenamed right now. For some reason they're not telling us what the name of the Shiba Inu coin metaverse is. They say there's a reason they're not telling us the name. 
I hope the reason is they haven't figured out a cool name yet, but we'll find out soon enough whether or not they've got a cool name for the metaverse or, or what it's going to be. But you need to own Leash if you want to get on the priority list for, for landowners in the metaverse. Now, why is this important? You know, Leash is part of the Shiba Inu, <coughs> sorry, the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem. Bone, Leash, and Shiba Inu coin. Interesting, because you need to own Bone once we switch over to Shibirium if you are going to be paying your gas fees. So think about this now. Instead of just owning Shiba Inu coin, instead of just pouring your money into Shiba Inu coin and watching the price of Shiba Inu coin grow, you are forced to buy Bone. You are forced to buy Leash. If you're interested in wellies, you could be forced to buy some wellies NFTs. And when this dispersion of money comes into play, instead of focusing your money on one asset, it is nice to diversify, yes, but it draws the attention out from that Shiba Inu coin, I guess, uh, singularity and moves it into multiple coins in multiple places. So let's take a look at this. Uh, if you guys want more details on the metaverse, you know, they haven't released too much on it yet. You need to buy a leash, right? That's what we're going to focus on right here. If you want more details, you can watch the video from last night. But needing to buy a leash, what did leash do on the announcement of the Shiba Inu coin metaverse here? Leash nearly doubled in price, okay? It went from about $1,100 per coin to over $1,900 per coin just in the last few hours. You're talking since the announcement, it went from $1,100 to over $1,900 per coin. Shiba Inu coin, over the same time frame, has gained 10%. Now, I don't know how many of you guys out there own Leash, but I don't. I own Shiba Inu coin. I like when the Shiba Inu coin price goes up. I like when everybody is, is focused on Shiba Inu coin. Not when everybody is focused on well, I have to own Leash now if I want to get in the metaverse, or I have to own Bone now if I'm going to pay my gas fees. I'm going to have to own an NFT if I want to get rewards or, or you know, potential distributions from wellies. So I have to own this if I'm going to do that. I don't know. I might be thinking too far into it. I, I, I would rather see the focus be on Shiba Inu coin. Hey, man, own Shiba Inu coin? You could buy land in the Shiba Inu metaverse. Hey, man, own Shiba Inu coin? You can pay your gas fees on the new Shiba Inu uh, blockchain. So very strange that this ecosystem is even necessary, but very strange to me as well that it kind of draws the attention away from Shiba a little bit and increases the price of, of these add-on coins. My take on that, I want to know what you guys think about that. Because I would have loved if the price of Shiba Inu coin doubled yesterday after having the phenomenal week that it had last week going from uh, 2,000 points per coin to 3,500. Then if it would have doubled again, you guys know where we would be at right now, right? If Shiba Inu coin experienced the same gains that Leash did, we would be sitting around or above 7,000 points per coin or slightly below, slightly above, give or take a little bit. That would have been incredible because we would be knocking on the door of all-time highs once again, and you know who flows back in when you start to hit all-time highs? FOMO buyers. And I can almost guarantee that they would have pushed it just through the roof on that news. If they saw it hitting those all-time highs again, everybody's portfolios were green, everybody was making money on Shiba Inu coin, and it was about to break out, yes, FOMO absolutely would have kicked in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys, and if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram, we will Binance, Gemini, Crypto.com in the description below, and until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.